Santa Fe SUV is one of the longest living Hyundai models, and has been a perennial sales leader for the Korean company. However, the popular family SUV has been struggling a bit of late due to the questionable facelift, and the onslaught of new competition, which has led to a question of whether or not there will even be another generation of Santa Fe, as the Hyundai Motor Group as a whole is preparing to go full electric within a decade. However, just discovered is a brand new internal combustion engine SUV that's reported to be the next Santa Fe, which appears to be a breath of fresh air, and a departure from the usual electric varieties that are receiving all the spotlight recently. And our initial impression is that the next Santa Fe could be yet another game-changer, from a prolific Korean automaker that seems like it can do no wrong these days. In this episode, we will find out how Hyundai will attempt to turn things around for its prized family SUV nameplate, and place it on the top of the sales chart once again. So, before we go on, we'd highly appreciate your support by subscribing, and turning on the notification bell, if you haven't already. And please don't forget to like, comment, and vote on the question presented at the end of the video. Also, please support us on patreon.com backslash autovision if you enjoy our content. As we eagerly wait for the arrival of the electric phenom from Korea, namely the Kia EV9 and the production version of the Hyundai 7 concept, we often forget about the vehicles that have taken once lowly Korean automaker to the position that they rightly now claim, as one of the most innovative and progressive companies in the world, ranking fourth in sales globally to prove that the Hyundai Motor Group has truly come a long way from the days of ponies and excels. And one of the vehicles that were responsible for changing the public conception of the company as a builder of cheap Econobox with no desirable attributes was Hyundai Santa Fe. In its fourth iteration, the Korean brand's bread and butter product and the first SUV for the US market, also came a long way. Bigger, plushier, and more powerful than one could have ever imagined when compared to the earlier models, Santa Fe is now one of the best-selling family SUVs in the market, competing squarely with the likes of Honda Passport and Toyota 4Runner, selling over 1.7 million units in the process since its introduction in the US. However, Santa Fe has been losing its steam of late, due to its questionable redesign and strong competition, especially from the sibling Kia Sorento, which is now bigger with seven-passenger capacity and aesthetically more pleasing styling. Sorento has always played second fiddle to Santa Fe, but in Korea, the table has turned as Kia's interpretation of what a family SUV should be, outsold the original Santa Fe by nearly three folds to this year to date. For this reason, along with other poorly performing models such as the Sonata family sedan, Santa Fe has often been mentioned as a possible candidate to be axed after the current generation, especially with the advent of the electric car era with the impending arrival of an outstanding EV model such as the 7 concept that has garnered much praise from all over the globe. However, due to the supply chain issue brought on by the pandemic, and the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which is hampering the development and production of the pure electric models, combined with the surge of demand for hybrid and plug-in hybrid vehicles, it appears that ICE models such as Santa Fe and Sonata are getting a second lease on life. We also have exciting news on the future of Sonata for the future episode so please stay tuned. As for the all-new fifth-generation Santa Fe, Hyundai's strategy for digging it out of the hole seems to be giving it a complete transformation without maintaining any part of the previous model's design or heritage. According to the spy photos, the all-new Santa Fe appears to be a completely different car altogether, with its bold and angular new body that's actually more reminiscent of Kia's upcoming EV9 electric SUV, a complete departure from the sleek and urban look that the Santa Fe franchise has maintained for over 20 years since its inception. In fact, the all-new Santa Fe appears to be an SUV designed for the off-road that's ready to tackle any kind of terrain, rather than being the comfortable family hauler that it's been known for until now. The rugged look is known to be inspired by Hyundai's first-ever SUV, known as Galloper in the domestic Korean market, which is essentially a Hyundai-built version of Mitsubishi Pajero or Montero as it was known in the US. Due to Galloper's legendary reputation as a tough body-on-frame off-roader, it was expected to be the next in line to be designated as the Hyundai Heritage model to be reinterpreted as a modern vehicle, as was the case with Pony, the first-ever indigenous car of Korea, and Granger, the first-ever indigenous luxury car of Korea. However, unlike the first two heritage models that are just concept cars at this moment, it appears that Galloper is bypassing the heritage concept stage and is going straight into production, after its absence in the market since 2004, but under a completely different nameplate, strangely.
been fighting 